Ah, come on. You wouldn't die that easily. Well, as long as you keep paying him, I'm sure he will. Probably not a good time to talk about money. Uh, hello? Ah! There's Cloud with his grand entrance. Looks like I'm a little late. <laughs> Just a tad. Damn right you're late! Come waltzing in here, making a big scene. Also, you're going to learn one thing about Barrett. He has quite a foul mouth. Where are you worried, Barrett? <laughs> Taking it out of your money, hot stuff. Well, I am pretty cool and all. Oh. Uh, thank you, Jesse. No problem. Kinda needed you anyway. Alright, let's move. <laughs> I like that one guy's hair. This is my house, so make yourselves at home. Hmm, I wonder who the leader could be. <laughs> I think Barrett actually reacted to that. I don't think I ever noticed that before. Sit down and shut up. I don't wanna. Security mode, huh? Maybe, Wedge. Uh, what do you have in mind? Good, yeah, okay then. Good for you. Let's talk to Jesse. Look at what? Oh, a map of the Midgar rail system. Yes, I, I could kind of tell you like bombs and stuff. This is a complete model of the city of Midgar. It's about a 1 in 10,000 scale. The top plate is about 50 meters above ground. The main support structure holds the plate up in the center, and there are other support structures built in each section. The reactor we blew up was in the northern section. Then there's two, number three, and all the way up to number eight. The eight reactors provide Midgar with electricity. Each town used to have a name, but no one in Midgar remembers them. Instead of names, we refer to them by numbered sectors. That's the kind of place this is. Uh, 
Okay, then. At each checkpoint, an ID sensor device is set up. It can check the identities and background of each and every passenger on the train by linking it up to the central data bank at Shinra headquarters. Anyone could tell that we look suspicious, so we're using fake IDs. I see. Oh, so that lights the security check. I see. When the lights go off, you never know what kind of creeps will come out. I don't really care that I'm bothering the other passengers. If the plate weren't there, we could see the sky. Floating city, pretty unsettling scenery. It's not much to say, it is unsettling. The upper world, a city on a plate. It's because of that bleep and pizza that people underneath are suffering. <laughs> I like how they uh, censor some of the curse words, but some of them still get through. So the, guy, the people that live in the slums live in a polluted wasteland, almost. Probably can't afford to, Cloud. Maybe, Barrett. city is almost depressing. Almost. Okay, good. Looks like we made it to the Sector 7 slums. Because this is where Avalanche holds its base of operations. This mission was a success, but don't get lazy now. The hard part's still to come. D don't y'all be scared of that explosion. Because the next one's gonna be bigger than that. You, you know, Barrett, you should really also think of the repercussions of blowing up those reactors. What if innocent civilians got caught up in them? Not just, like, the people from Shinra. I know you're trying to save the planet all, and all, but... You gotta think of the people, too. Hmm. <laughs> I guess... <laughs> yep, Barrett just scared them all out of that place. Uh, don't care. <laughs> Alright, what did you want here? Ah, uh, so innocent people did get killed. It sounds like. So welcome to the Avalanche base. It's called it's called the Seventh Heaven Bar. Also, I'm not your dad, little girl. Yep, 
Yep. We sure showed that reactor who was boss. Um, no, I didn't fight with Barrett. So this is another one of our party members. Her name is Tifa. Now, um, I have decided that this time around, Tifa is going to be one of the party members in my final party. Because last time I played this game, I wanted to have a dedicated mage, and that's how, why I ended up using Kate Sif, because he was the best candidate. And I also used Sid, just because Sid's one of the best characters. But this time, we're going to be bringing Tifa along. Tifa's cool because she's she attacks with her fists and stuff. <laughs> I'm not interested in your stories. What is it? Actually, I'm not interested. Uh, yeah, why not? That on the table really quickly. Ah, oh, so Marlene is Barrett's daughter. Good. Uh, you can really see the family resemblance there. Nah, I'm, sh I'm sure there's a good reason for it. Oh, a meeting. She is a cute kid. Let's talk to Tifa before we go down. Because this is Cloud's childhood friend. How about something to drink? <laughs> I don't know, this. Give me something hard. Sure, why not? I think we're feeling all right. All right, let's go see what this meeting's about. <laughs> what a blast. Scared wedge. Uh yeah, you're wedge. What's up, Barrett? Hmm, I don't think so. anyone from Soldier, you wouldn't be standing here now. Uh... 
calm down. He was just telling it like it is. Oh! Poor Biggs. Throw him at the camera. What are you getting all uppity about? He was just answering your question. Yeah, exactly. That's right, and we're still waiting to be paid. <laughs> like hell we missed the Shinra. Cloud. Also, he's just punching that punching bag really quickly now. God, you can be really rude, Cloud, you know that? I'm sorry, Tifa. Promise. Cloud and Tifa's hometown, wherever this is. <laughs> little Cloud and Little Tifa. Soldier, huh? The best there is just like Sephiroth. Hmm, the great Sephiroth.
If you're in a bind, come save you, huh? Whenever I'm in trouble, my hero will come and rescue me. I want to at least experience that once. It was a silly promise, but a promise nonetheless. Yeah, I remember. I'm not a hero and I'm not famous. Barret, you just climbed up. Why didn't you just use the? Never mind. You weirdo. Ooh, receives Barret stash fifteen hundred gil. Sweet money. Oh, that money was going for Marlene. Did you really just sleep on the floor, Cloud? That looked very uncomfortable. <laughs> also, I like this music that's playing right now. Good morning. Barrett's snoring kept me up and, uh... <laughs> Let's say this, next to you, who would... Oh, you're coming along, are you, Tifa? Our target's the Sector 5 reactor. Head for the station first. I'll fi fill you in on the train. What's up, Barrett? You don't know how to use materia. Now, we could go for the explanation for Barrett's sake, but we it's basically just a tutorial for Materia, so we're, we're just going to say you wouldn't understand. Okay, I'm in charge of the Materia, good. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. You're gonna have a kid watch the bar. What? Okay, that's very strange. Okay, so we now have access to the materia, and we also have Tifa in our party now as well. Alright, so, materia. There's different types of materia that uh, that's in the game. I think there's four different kinds. There's the green ones, which are bi just basic magic. There's yellow ones, which are support. Usually they have... Uh... Usually they have special effects like steel, enemy skills, stuff like that. Uh, purple ones... Oh, what does purple materia do? It usually, oh, those are the support ones. Usually they're paired with a green materia and they'll have some kind of added effect. And then the red ones are summon materia. Oh, there's also blue materia that. Blue, blue materia usually has. It's the best way to put it. Eh, I forget. But, but at any rate, we, we don't have much materia at the moment. Cloud starts with a lightning and. An ice materia. Oops. I have got to get used to these controls again. 
So for now, we'll put that Restore on Barret so that he can use Cure. Now, the cost for Materia can can be a bit pricey because equipping lots of Materia can lower your, your maximum HP and your strength as shown at the Equip effect. So you don't want to equip too many of them if you're going for, like, strength and stuff. So, oh, by the way, if you press the select button, it'll bring a finger above Cloud's head, and it'll also show different area exits, like right here we can enter. Yep, I'm a customer. couple antidotes. I'll buy a fire materia. And I'll buy one more restore materia, I think. Go ahead and sell that Efer, because Efer sell for a lot of gill in, in this game. Oops, I need to talk to him again. Another restore materia on Tifa. Darn it. I'll get used to this eventually, I swear. And we'll put that fire material with Barrett for now. Let's enter this building. Oh, some. Oh, wait. I'll buy a couple iron bangles. That's an, an accessory we, we can equip. Oh, armor, my bad. Not an accessory. Put that fire there for now. But yeah, um, what I was going to mention about Materia is that whatever Materia you have equipped, well, when you're fighting battles and stuff, it, they will gain experience points, and they can level up and stuff. So let's just take a look real quick. So I believe once Cloud gets to the next level with Bolt and... with Lightning and Ice, He'll get Bolt 2 and Ice 2, and so on and so, so forth, you get the idea. Oops. Darn it. Why can I not get used to it? I'm not giving you nothing. Oh, you rude little kid. Save point. Ooh, we got an all materia. And an ether. Now this this is basically a tutorial area, and I think the guys here will teach you a lot about limit breaks and stuff, but I'll just go ahead and explain it. So um each character can get up to level four limit breaks. But each level has two limit breaks that a character can learn. Now there's two ways you go about getting your limit breaks. To get the second the second limit break of that particular level, you need to use the first limit break a, a certain number of times. I forget if it's the same for each character or if the number varies, but anyway, keep using your limit breaks and eventually you're, you'll learn your next one. 
Now, to get the, the next level limit breaks, from, like going from level 1 to level 2, you need to kill a certain amount of enemies. Again, I'm not sure if that varies from character to character, but once you kill enough enemies with, that, with said character, then they will eventually learn their, their next level limit break. That, I always used to get confused by this, but that's how, that's how the game works. At least when it comes to limit breaks and stuff. That's the simplest way of putting it, anyway. No way. He is right, though. Save early, save often. Alright, I think that's pretty much all we can do around here. So, let's get on our way to doing the next mission, then. Johnny. That was strange. Alright, so let's take the train to our next mission.